Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another video with Sophie B. Oh yeah, you see. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a very requested video and this is what's on my iPhone. I have no idea why, but it's been very, very requested. And when you see my phone in a minute, you're gonna realize how unorganized my phone is and I am as a person and if you watch my vlogs and stuff you'll see how messy my room is and how just like an untidy person I am and when you see my phone you're going to realize that even more. I have like four folders but all the rest is just mumble jumbled and just there. So anyway let's go straight into the video. If my screen is someone's very sexy on it. <laughs> I would unlock my screen and normally have a screen saver but let's just open it, shut it and do it again. This is my screensaver and it's a picture of Jake and I when we at Centre Parks. Then I unlock and I have four folders as you can see. I have game, extras, health and photography. I actually only made two of the folders because two of them actually came with the iPhone and that's health and extras. Although I did add two apps to that because I felt like it. Right, so the first folder I have is games and I only have one game just because I never really play games. Like if I'm on my phone, I'm normally on social media. But I found this game out and I am now addicted and so is the rest of my family, especially my brother. And this is called Best Fiends. I really recommend you guys get it because it's so much fun. I'll show you how you play it now and I'll explain to you how you play it also. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on level 11, which some people might not think is that great because I'm really not good at the game, although I do really try. I just can't get past level 11, which is really annoying. Then I scroll up, because this game you can connect with Facebook and stuff, you can see other friends in the world. And my brother is past where I'm trying to go up right now. I think he's on like level 34 or something like that. Myself and my family are just in like a massive competition on this game, which is actually so much fun. So my goal of the game is to defeat six slugs and 30 flowers. So how you do this is you have to connect all the matching pictures and then they like explode and hit the slug and then more come down and you have to try and get as many as you can as possible and as you can see on this level I only have 23 moves so I have to defeat six slugs in this time. So if I go across here there's three. And then as you can tell, loads more comes down. And you can go diagonal, which I think is cool as well. So I can go down to these mushrooms and get four there. There you go. So as you can tell, like, the more you get, the harder it hits the slug. Oh my goodness, there's loads of yellow ones. Oh, I'll stop there. Oh yeah. Also as well, because I have two creatures, as you can see, the little green leaf one and the yellow flower one, that means they can attack harder on the slug, so it's better for myself to get the green ones and the flowers because I have little characters of them. Oh yes, I'm actually doing quite good. Oh, I've defeated three and there's still 12 moves left. Oh look, this one's really cool because if you get this like five arrow thing here, then more come, which is why oh, I'm not them. Guys, this is why I do so bad. Anyway, I'm making it sound really complicated. Honestly, if you download the game, it's really not that complicated and it's really addictive. I'm just gonna quickly show you my team as well, because they're really cute. Right, so this is Temper. He's a level three and he's just adorable. Then I scroll across to my flower one and this one's actually even cuter. That's like a little bee. Let's go. I don't even know how you pronounce it. I think it's like Quincy. It's really cute. And the bigger your team becomes, like the easier it is on the game because they're better at defeating the slugs. Yeah, it's just so much fun. I just really like it. So I'll put the link in the description below. And you can also get it for Android as well because my dad doesn't have an iPhone and he plays it a lot. <laughs> iPhone and Android. Moving on. I'm gonna go to photography because why not? I probably should do it in order. Right, so as you can see, here is my social media, my Snapchat, my Facebook, Instagram. This little thing here, you're probably wondering, what is it? And it linked me to my live subscriber account of my vlogging channel, and I'm nearly on 39,000, which is so exciting. And the support I get on my vlogging channel is amazing. So thank you so much to everyone that subscribes to it. And if you haven't already, I'm also going to link that below, so go check that out. Twitter, YouTube, uh, this is like an app studio, it's an app for YouTubers, like people that have channels. It's just like your 
statistics, I cannot say the word for you all know what I'm on about, and your analytics and stuff, my Facebook Messenger, my email, my Musical.ly, O-M-G. This is like my new favourite app. I just love it so much, it's so much fun. Pinterest, a collage app that I use all the time that I'll talk about in a minute, my Insta track. So basically, because I have a K on my Instagram, I can't see exactly how many followers I've got, whether if I go on this app, it tells me that I have exactly, well once I've refreshed it, it takes ages to load. 1,117,606, but if I went on Instagram, I wouldn't have known that already. And then I have Afterlight, which is my favorite editing app, and I use it all the time, and a load of you always ask for how I edit my pictures, so I'll just tell you a little bit about that. So, say I went on to Afterlight, click on the first picture that's in my album that isn't even my picture, and it already has been edited loads, so to be honest, I can't really edit this picture so much because it already is very bright, but I always brighten my pictures and put a lot of satisfaction on them. So what I would normally do is increase the brightness by like 50%. Although this picture has been brightened a lot, so I'm only going to take it to like 30 something percent maybe. And then, so the saturation, which is a little drop here, is my favourite thing to use ever. Like, I hardly even put effects on my Instagram posts, but if I do, I'll show you what I use for that also, but it's on, actually on Instagram. But look, as you can tell, now I've brightened the picture, it makes it look so much better, well I think so anyway, so look, here's before and here's after and there's a big difference. When my Instagram was like this kind of theme, I always use this one effect and this is my favourite effect to use. So we go to Aiden, it's just a really nice effect. I don't add too much to it, but it kind of gives it like a purpley effect. Another thing that I always get asked is how do I put white borders on my pictures? And I always use a square white border, and this is just this collage app here that you can see of the colourful squares. I think it's literally just, oh no, there you go, photo collage it's called. So click on there, add my photo, open it how much you want to, so I'll deepen it quite thick. About there, and then you can move your picture when it's inside as well. It just makes your theme look so much better when you do this, I think so anyway. So it's a really, really good way to edit your Instagram pictures, and it's how I always edit mine. Pinterest. I love Pinterest. I have an account, but I don't really go on it much. Like, I don't really add things to my walls. I just look on it like if I just want to see like inspo and stuff, really, other people's accounts. And like, sometimes I don't know ideas of how to decorate my room that day, or I don't know if something special is coming up, like a good idea to create stuff and um, yeah it's just a really really cool app musically so I got the best of it but I love it and I felt so cool the other day because I only had it one day and I got featured and I had no idea how and everyone started commenting on my Instagram like you got featured I was like what's featured I've like only just downloaded the app my favorite app on social media right now is Twitter just because it's such an amazing way to interact with you guys like I get to DM a lot of you all the time and like have group chats and stuff and I just love talking to you on there so much it's just such a good way to be able to talk to all of you so if you have twitter make sure you're following me so we can have a nice little chat on there and on extras there is my you now and my live subscriber account again this is for my main channel i'm not really particularly going in order of this so i'm just going to go like throw up my favorite apps and stuff and as it's here i can just see currently when i'm looking at my phone Amazon Core and Swart Pit, which a lot of you probably won't recognise. And these are apps that I use when I'm at the gym. A lot of you ask like what ab routines and stuff I do. And this app is such a great app. It's called Amazon Core. And I normally go on absolutely awesome. And I'll just click on there. And you basically, you choose your workout. You can have your normal music from your phone. I'm gonna go for like 10 minutes if I'm doing ab work. And basically, it just times your ab workout and gives you the ideas and tells you like a routine to do it in. This is Supreme Bicycle, so this is a great ab exercise if you don't know already. I actually love this one. Count you down for 30 seconds, and then you can just change it. And it has loads of different ab exercises. And if you don't like one either, you can also change it and it won't take down the time. Like Steam Engine, I never knew that either. So great app also. And then the one next to it is just like a light version of it that I probably should have deleted. It does the same thing. They're both free, but it's just not good. Another fitness app that I'm using at the moment. And this just like counts your calories of foods that you eat and stuff and you just log it all in. And then like when you eat something bad as well, if you just log every single thing that you eat, you like feel bad the next day because you know that you had to log it then. And then you look back at it and you're like, oh, 
it's not just about like counting the calories and losing weight and stuff. I just want to be like a healthier person, a healthier person in myself. And I just feel as if this app is really great for like, thinking about the choices you make and stuff. Fast Twitter, that's just like another app, just like find and follow, which is a way better version than Fast Twitter. So I would definitely go for that one. This just basically tells you that users that like don't follow you back and stuff. I had it ages ago. I don't even know where I have it anymore. Perfect 365. Oh, I actually haven't used this in ages. I downloaded this so long ago. It was like a novelty. Um, yeah, I haven't used it in ages. It's like a cool app. You can add like fake hair and stuff. But also, if you have like a massive pimple, you can delete it and stuff. Maybe I should start using it more. Probably would be a good idea. Um, as I haven't used it in ages. So my Instagram pics might be down here. But... HSBC is just the bank that I use and it's just way better having it online. Right, so next I'm going to talk about Morsi and this is an online shopping app and this is great because it has over 150 high street brands which is so good because you can just search it and there's a the brand that you want, there's a the designer or whatever. It's just so much easier than having to go like out and buy something or just going individually and going on to every online shop. I'll show you how it works. So say I chose what, well, I don't know, actually I'm just going to go add to so I really really wanted something with the brand Adidas, I will click on Adidas and it will show me loads of different items from Adidas and you can just scroll across to which ones you don't like and which ones you do like like this, just scroll across and say I really wanted these shoes, click the thumbs up and it will go up to my saved items. But what's great about it is because say these went on sale which a lot of times they do on Morsi, it will send you a drop notification like ding ding ding. And there you go, it's in the sale and it lets you know as soon as it's in the sale. And you can just go ahead and buy it, get yourself a bargain and also it's so quick this app. Like it takes you two seconds to purchase something, like it's so much quicker than any other shopping app that I've like used before personally. Actually I'm going to link every single thing that I use, like all my social media, every app that I have will all be linked below so make sure you go check them all out and this Morsi will also be linked below. I'm going to talk about Netflix which is what everybody has. Netflix is amazing although I don't even really have time to watch TV that much anymore, but when I do watch something on Netflix, it's always going to be a series because I just love getting into series and a series that I love is PLL. It's so amazing and Prison Break as well, um, although I do really want to get into another series soon. And what's the one that everyone's talking about at the moment? I think it's Making a Murderer. That seems so good, so I think I'm going to try that out, but if you guys have any other series that you think is really cool or interesting or whatever or good to watch, then let me know for that as well. Starbucks, I have the Starbucks app, I don't know how but like my mum gets some codes from Starbucks sometimes so it's just really easy to have the app because I just show the code on the app and then it just like scans it through and I get my hot chocolate or whatever. Every post, this is an app where I can like schedule my tweets if you know I'm out in the cinema or whatever like I'm going to the cinema later and say my video is going up but I couldn't tweet it because I have no service then every post will do that for me which is great. Chromecast, this is a really cool thing. It basically connects my phone to my TV without a lead. It's like a little box you buy. It's not even expensive for what I don't think it is for what it does. It's £30 and it connects the phone to your TV and you don't just have to watch Netflix as well, you can watch like YouTube videos or like anything on your phone so it's really cool. Square Size is another app where you can just put borders and stuff but once again I don't think it's as good as photo collage. Akinada, I had this because people was tweeting me like, oh my god we guessed you so I just wanted to guess myself and it was so cool. Train line, I find it so much easier to have the app on my phone because I do get trains quite a lot and it's so much easier just to see the live times and stuff and like I always travel up to Jake's quite a lot on the train so it's just a really good way to have live times etc and it's a really good way for booking as well really really good way for booking. Ubu, this is such a cool app. I never used it till like what a week ago with my friends. I'm actually gonna get up and pick up me and my friends in it the other day. It's really cool. It's like Skype but I find it so much better because it's so much quicker and you can do it on your phone. I think you can do Skype on your phone as well but the connection's so bad. Well it was for me when I had it and I just I, it's just really cool. Like you can have up to like five people on it I think. You may have more, I'm not sure. It's just really cool as well because you can add like effects and I made myself red, my friend made herself purple, my friend made herself green and like you can add like little cartoons in it while you're FaceTiming and it's just like really random and 
is a cool app. OMG, I nearly forgot about such an important thing to me and that is my music. If I'm honest, before I actually start, although I do absolutely love listening to music, I mainly listen to it through YouTube on my laptop so I don't have too many albums on here, but an album that I absolutely do love to bits is Justin Bieber's new album, Purpose. It's amazing and my favourite song and it's Love Yourself. Oh, this is amazing. If you haven't heard this, check this out. This is Want To Want Me, I Want You To Want Me mash up. And this is by Andy Case. Um, she's not like a really famous singer, but you may have seen her video of it on Facebook. It was viral. It was her in the car, like singing with the guitar. Secret by Austin Mahone. It's like a song that Jake and I absolutely love. It's like our song. I don't know, it's just always been our song. So there's that absolute favorite album of all time is Destiny's Child. If you don't know who Destiny's Child are, where have you been living? They are the best girl band you are ever here. Ever, ever, ever. Unfortunately, they aren't together anymore. This was like a while, while, while back. And then yeah, these are just solo songs. I have Drake's album, 30 Watt, when that came out. Fifth Harmony, I really like them as well. Oh, this is one of my favorite songs ever. Low by Flo Rida. Justin, 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 go past that. Mr. Mina. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Mr. Mina, they're like good friends of mine and they're a boy band. And they are insane. Their harmonies are insane. Their dance moves are insane. They're like, everything about them is really cool. So if you haven't already like checked their music out, go check their music out or go like check their social media, like their Twitter and stuff as well. I'll also link that below. Sam Smith used to be my absolute favorite singer. He probably still is, although obviously because of what's happened with his throat, he hasn't been able to produce music. But as soon as he get his new album out, I know I will absolutely fall in love with him again. And that's my music. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It went up on a Saturday, which is really weird because I normally always upload on a Wednesday and Sunday if you have been subscribed to me for a long time. If you haven't, I do upload on a Wednesday and Sunday and subscribe if you're new. This is just like a little extra video because I had the time to film it and I thought, why not? But I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and I will see you soon with another video. Bye!